What's up guys, so today I just wanted to show you the Digital Photo Fanus Pro 2, the second edition. I already done the review of the original, which included the same vest and the stabilization arm, but now the second versions come with a monopod and counterweight system down the bottom and a few little accessories as well. So if you guys have seen my first review of the Digital Photo Fanus Pro, you might note that I've been using that with the Crane 2, the original old gimbal, and that can only handle small little cameras. So now this is a big upgrade because we can have the Crane 3S uh, together with a bigger camera like the Sony FX6. And we have this extension arm over here so we can actually put the camera in underslung mode and it's all good even with the top handle and the monitor attached and it works really well. One thing I would really recommend you to do is put two points of contact if you're planning to have a bigger camera setup on the top, especially if you're going to be using this system in this kind of mode. If you're gonna be getting it low to the ground, uh, you shouldn't just rely on this one screw. And that's why I do have screwed in two magic arms, one over here, one over here, and attached it to the monopod itself. It's good to have two points of contact always, especially if you're using something bigger than a standard little DSLR. The thing I really like about this kind of a setup is that you can put the camera really low, flip it upside down, get some nice low shots. You can bring it up and actually bring it quite a bit higher than for example, something like your Easy Rig. Uh, with my Easy Rig, the camera always goes just below my eye line, but right here we can actually have it a little bit higher. Um, which is really nice to get kind of different angles, different unique shots. And of course you have the gimbal features, which allow you to put the gimbal into, for example, follow mode. So now the camera will be following everything you do, um, as well as, you know, the traditional point follow, lock mode, all those things um, are really cool. So you can actually get nice shots. So for example, let's switch it into lock mode. And now it doesn't matter which way we move, uh, the camera stays locked in the same direction. A thing I like about this setup is if you're doing, for example, a music video and a tracking shot, you don't need to be walking backwards like you do with an easy rig. With this kind of a rig, you just need to flip your monitor uh, to the side, going forward, and you can actually track them backwards like this. Um, so the camera is facing back, um, but you're facing to the front. So that just makes everything a lot easier. If you're planning to get this kind of a setup, just make sure you get the Trini slider. It is a little slider plate down the bottom for the counterweights. And that basically means if you have something attached to the side of your gimbal or anything up here is not properly balanced, the camera might go to one side and that will kind of allow you to balance that out and have the camera always going straight. Overall, I think this is a very cool setup will allow you to handle your camera for a little bit longer. So just two things, make sure you have two points of contact over here and get that slider, Trinity slider down the bottom for the counterweight so you can actually properly balance your entire setup. And probably one more thing, uh, it will be good to have some kind of release system over here instead of just a screw on. So perhaps Digital Photo can come out with something that can attach over here and have a quick release. So one plate attaches to your gimbal, the other attaches to here. Otherwise, super cool. Let me know what you think about the setup. If you get any questions, leave them down below. Uh, you can also check out the links to all kind of pieces of gear I'm using from the camera I'm filming it on, the Lumix S5, FX6, uh, the entire setup, gimbals and everything are in the description below. So check out those links. And if you have any questions, you can also let me know on Instagram at Quasnick Pictures. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.